these influencers are not your friend they're not your friend they're not your friend hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is oinkwan if it's your first time stopping by you baby i'm most definitely welcome now in today's video i'm going to be talking about why influencers are not your friends i know that many times people tend to think that oh this person is my friend i can relate i can relate but then this video i, I got thinking a little while ago and i just decided to just come on here and just talk about this because you know it's something that has been on my mind and yeah that's what i'm just going to be expantiating on in this video so if that sounds like something that you'll be interested in then please keep on watching now first things first i just want to say this influencers are they're like um quote and unquote mini celebrities quote and unquote because you don't actually know them but then you feel like you know them and you can connect with them on a personal level even more than celebrities because with celebrities there's this um gap you know they just don't communicate that much there's not so much of a two-way communication between celebrities and their fans but with influencers because of the fact that anybody can be an influencer as long as you just put your life out there a little on camera or you just do a little something on camera and people like it anybody can be an influencer so it makes it a little bit more relatable right and very recently influencer was actually added into the dictionary as an actual word right? so nowadays many people go with that pathway as per career they're like oh i want to be an influencer and that's the career that they want to go with you know what i mean so there's that now i personally don't believe that influencers are your friends even though it may seem like it but then there's this concept of um something called parasocial relationships now, if you don't know what that means that means that you are just gonna paraphrase it from what i understood it's a relationship that is basically one-sided you have it with someone you actually you know everything about the person then the person doesn't even know that you exist do you know what i mean so then people get invested in the lives of these influencers and celebrities they get invested and they want to know what's happening what's happening what's happening in this person's life at every given point as is the definition of parasocial relationships and then people go ahead to form stan clubs like um beyonce stan club or even in nigeria we have our own stan our own stan clubs for celebrities in nigeria now i'm not saying that parasocial relationships are a bad thing i'm not saying it's a good thing either it's just a type of relationship everybody has relationships and parasocial relationships just happen to be a type of relationship that exists as well do you know what i mean so that is on one hand oh you guys should join me in praising god oh if you don't know where i'm in nigeria and the electricity is, is such a mess in this country so they just restored the power and that's why the lights came on but i really like this angle so we're gonna stick with it throughout the video okay now i just want to say that influencers have been around for a bit and even though it wasn't officially termed influencers but there have always been people who other people who looked up to who they barely knew but again with the advent of social media social media just literally made it so easy for everyone and anyone to be an influencer as long as you had a camera or a smartphone and i'm telling you in the last 10 10 years or so a lot of day-to-day -day people have exploded based off of the fact that they just put their lives on social media with their smartphone or camera it just made it so easy for anybody to become an influencer now these types of relationships have their pros and cons right the pros of the relationship is the fact that you get to meet new people i mean especially if you are a type of person who is interactive with your audience you meet new people in the comment section i i personally can identify people in my comment section who interact with my videos like if you leave a comment or something your name will just register in my brain so i know that oh this person i have like a relationship with that person and then people get to build relationships off of social media even expand it to like networks and make a lot of money outside of social media because of the relationships that started on social media but then again there are disadvantages the disadvantage or the major disadvantage in my opinion is the fact that with social media and with influencers in general they just show you what they want you to see but then many times people don't understand that there's that demarcation there's that line so then people start to believe that they know the influencers a lot more than they actually know you know so then they get too invested in the thing but then the thing is that the influencers are only really showing you what they want you to see and it's also easy to manipulate images it's also easy to manipulate things i can come across as living in dubai but then 
I'm actually living in my village. Do you know what I mean? It's all perspective and all how I put it in your front. Why do I say that influencers are not your friends? Because I don't believe that the relationships that we form with influencers are like wholesome, especially because you don't really know the full picture. You only know the much that they show you. When people um, feel so bad that, oh, their favorite celebrity couple broke up, like when Jamie and Nikki broke up, like people were like, oh my God, I can't believe Jamie and Nikki broke up. They looked so perfect. They looked so perfect because they only showed you what looked perfect. You were not there when they were having arguments in their house. So you don't really know the full picture as opposed to someone who had an actual relationship a two-sided relationship with them like maybe their mom or their dad or their actual friends those people would have a better understanding of why their relationship ended up the way it did because then they would have seen the true picture they would have seen the good the bad and ugly you know what i mean so it would have been easy for them to come to a much easier conclusion on why things happened the way they did which is also why i don't really subscribe to saying oh you guys are couple goals you guys are couple goals why because you only see the good i'm not gonna come on youtube and tell you guys that my husband and i were having an argument i'm not going to do that you know i'm only going to come and show you guys things that are happy so for you to base your judgment of my life off of the things that i show you alone mm, it's a bit mm, mm, mm. do you know what i mean that's that's another reason why i think that influencers are not your friends because it's not a really it's not a a properly formed relationship i don't know if that makes sense to you but yeah that's just what i'm trying to say it's not really a properly formed relationship and again the way many fans or many people tend to react to their favorite influencer or celebrity when they make a mistake even further buttresses the point that the influencers are not your friends because if they were your friends you would have given them the benefit of the doubt usually with your actual real life friends if they make a mistake you would usually go to them and be like oh what you did wasn't good but this is how we can fix it you know but with influencers you are usually like oh um you are cancelled you're cancelled oh i can't believe you did that you just go and just start yapping at the person but think about it in real life if this person was your actual friend in real life would you go to the person's door knock on their door and just start shouting and yapping like this just reminds me so much of um and ronke raji i don't know if you guys know ronke raji but she's fairly popular on youtube when she had the whole saga with the ntars thing i mean she lost a lot of subscribers subscribers she lost a lot of followers and everything because of that saga and people just went on and on just yapping and insulting her and i'm just thinking about it if these people were your actual friends like i know that a lot of people like her and uh, like her content but if she was your actual friend in real life would you do that to her if she made a mistake and said something that she, she shouldn't have said you probably would be like oh Ronke, i don't think that you should have said that i think that this is what you should have done instead you know try to offer a solution in real life relationships that are properly formed the cancel culture is not that big of a deal because i mean you get to understand the person's perspective you usually would hear the person's side of the story and then you can like give your two cents but online and in the whole social media thing the cancel culture is like you cannot afford to make a mistake do you know what i mean and the reason why i just started to put this video together is because as my channel has started to grow a little bit i have started to understand um a little more because i'm starting to get people um who leave some kind of comments on my videos and you would usually not see those comments because i'm someone who would delete the comments immediately like i delete and block such people immediately i don't like negative energy at all so i try not to entertain it at all but you know what i mean i just it got me thinking and that was the reason why i decided to just make this video and give you guys my two cents essentially so yeah um let me know what you think in the comment section i'd really like to hear from you down in the comment section let me know what you think about this whole situation because i mean i'm not saying that the whole parasocial relationships is good or bad it, i'm just saying it for what it is it, it, it is what it is do you know what i mean it's not good or bad it is just what it is and it's important for us to recognize these things when we ever find or if we ever find ourselves in such a situation so that we can you know prepare ourselves psychologically to handle the situation better so yeah 
uh if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and subscribe give the video a massive thumbs up and yeah share it with everyone who cares to watch it thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys